Welcome, this is Zahn with Repro Products. Welcome to Revit Tips and Tricks, tip number eight and tip number nine. Tip number eight is how to attach the top and or the bottom of an object such as a wall to a reference plane. Tip number nine is how to rotate the elevation marker using the rotation icon when selected. When I'm looking at a plan view, of a building here, I have a curved wall. Let's take a look at this in a 3D view or in an elevation view. Heading over to this elevation, we can see that there's a curve here. If I select this curved wall, I cannot edit the profile of a curved wall in an elevation view. I can edit the profile of a straight wall, as you can see here. If you want to take this curved wall and have it attached to a reference plane, say this one here that's at an angle, you can still do so. You can select the wall and click attach. Make sure you're attaching the wall's top to this reference plane. And it will actually adjust that curved wall to that reference plane. If we look at it in 3D, we'll get a better sense of what you've done. The next tip is when we take a look at an elevation marker, you'll notice that the here in a plan view, this elevation marker has been created such that the elevation is pointing at this wall and it's not directly 90 degrees perpendicular. If I try to take the object, select it, and use the rotate command, I would have to figure out what that angle difference is, which sometimes is easy to do, sometimes it's not so easy to do. What you can do is you can just select the elevation marker symbol, the circle portion, and there will be this little rotate icon that's in the lower left corner. And if you click it and hold, you can move your mouse and it will auto automatically snap back into position where it's perpendicular to the object that it's looking at. Makes it a little easier to readjust the elevation marker symbol back to its correct position. And that's the Revit tips and tricks number eight and number nine.